Allà, Maloy Andalus, from mbfx.com and Effective TDs, and we will have an overview of the new features of TP6.6. The new big feature in TP6.6 is, as you know, APF. APF stands for All Purpose Fields. And basically, in the 3ds Max, we had before force fields, and you saw force fields maybe in a stock or in fume. But in TP, it's way more than that. Um, APF is for all, pur all purpose, so it's not only for forces or velocities, you can store whatever data you want, you can store color information, you can store point 0.3 data, you can store alignment information, you can store whatever, and then you transfer these to particles. And the good thing is that we had, if you go to operators, APF fields, we have seven nodes to create these fields. You create, um, as you can see here, I am accumulating the data using basic um, a geom point. So the field is reading the distance and different data from the, this geometry, but you can use shapes. And you can use any nodes that you had before in TP. And this makes it very, very powerful. As well, you can create fields per particle. So it will be procedurally. Each particle will create his own field and the field inheritance, position, alignment and a scale of the particle. So you can have, you create only once the field and even if the, this field is moving, rotating, scaling, doesn't matter, TP doesn't need to recalculate the field anymore. You will only need to recalculate the field obviously if the um, particle is deforming and this opens also possibilities to use the forming objects with fluids, for example. Um, that's a force field. You can add a flow in top, for example. I am using as well flow 6.6 .6 that has been announced a lot. 6.6. Um, it conserved way better the velocities. Uh, the buoyancy with rigid bodies is way better. And I think also it's faster. But if I apply the flow on top of these particles, I will have also tension there. But if you, instead of flow you want to use bullet, force field is something that can go independent of any other um, simulation tool or you can combine whatever. It's what it makes TP so powerful. As well, we have a new uh, zoom uh, tool. This can you can add as many vectors or whatever type of data. It's a way to easily add a lot of scalars or integers or whatever. As well, you can export and import any APF as a BDBs. So um, it's easy to transport this to another app or simply to save it for faster playback. As you can see, for a low res APF, it's very fast to calculate. You can use APF as well for um, buoyancy. So instead of using the boundary in flow, you can use an APF. There is a special uh, boundary on the APF that what will create is instead of velocity, you go to boundary. As you can see, you can use a lot of things, but if you use boundary, you can say do things like a void inside, a void outside. This is using BDBs, so it's super fast. And the cool thing is that using that, since it's using kind of a voxelized system, you will have very good collisions with the forming mesh. We include number of shapes on shape list and number of objects on object list. This, what it's doing is that it's giving the number of objects that we have on this list. Before, if we add more objects here, we can have like 10 lines. But there was no way to expose this, the number of objects on this list. And since a lot of times we iterate over these objects and we need to iterate over each of these lines or over each of these objects, it's uh, good to have this uh, number of shapes exposed. So right now we can pick our objects and we don't need to define on the iterator exactly the number of these objects because automatically it's exposed. Now math nodes automatically rename to whatever function you are doing. If you switch to addition, you will know that now you are doing an addition. If you change to a maximum, you will know what you are doing. As well, there is way much more operators to do. And you note it's initial state. Initial state, it will save particles in a specific state. 
very good for fluids when you want to settle fluids and then you want to start your simulation with this settle state or bullet or SC. Basically, it will save all particles in a TPS file and then you can load this state to reuse it. Before we had to link any force if we wanted to use it on a standard force in TP using the tool of uh, bin to space warp uh, you don't need to do it anymore. If you create a force, actually on TP 6.6 you will have the force listed there so there is no need to do the linking. And remember that you can use motion fields as well. On a standard force you will have everything listed even if it's not a link activate the force that you want. We have a new turbulence map in TP. It's a text map with multiple values that you can control per particle. You can specify a map, any noise map that you want, you can plug it there. By default if you don't apply any material it will use a standard noise. And as you can see we can change uh, size, scale, we can change intensity of the turbulence, you can switch X, I and Z as a shift and the most important thing is that all these parameters can be per particle so you can apply randoms or dependencies by velocity so right now it's a really powerful new tool. Alembic export has been greatly improved, now you will have less problems with motion blur we had in the past some motion blur uh, problems when particles die. All this is fixed. As well, we have a new export mode. We have object per material now. I would suggest you to use always this one. Before TP 6.6, we only had object per group and object per particle. And how it was solving objects with multiple materials to don't uh, mess with materials, TP was automatically shifting uh, IDs. So they can keep all objects the same material but at the end you had objects with different IDs than your original objects. This can cause a lot of problems. So now on this mode TP will detect if a particle has material different than another and will create a final mesh based on each single material. So if you have 10 objects with two different materials you will have two meshes. Each uh, mesh will come from a different material so you will not have any switch on IDs. All the IDs will keep the same as your original objects. Geon particle now has a position input. Instead of plug directly a particle, you can plug the position and it will do a look around from this position. Import file has been updated. You will not see anything on the interface, but right now import file use PRT 1.1 loader. This means that TP knows if the PRT is created in which application because PRT stores the axis uh, where it has been created. So if you import now uh, PRTs created with max fluids, you have the option to export PRTs or you create uh, PRTs from Maya or whatever application, TP will always uh, use the correct scale and the correct axis. Before TP 6.6, you can see that when you import something can have 90 degrees of rotation or something, all this will be fixed now. Shape collision is way faster now. This sim takes one minute Exactly the same machine on 6.5 was between 7 to 8 minutes. You don't need to touch anything, simply take any scene that you have, uh, sim it again on the new version of TP 6.6, you will expect between 2 to 8 times of a speed increase. There is multiple bug fixes in TP 6.6, maybe one of the most important for me, it was in volume break and in fragmenter mode, when we activate volume break or fragment, and we do it over time, if we, or particle is animated, you will see in TP 6.5 and previous that the activated uh, geometry or particle gets frozen one frame. It was not applying the velocity inheritance until one frame after. Uh, this was kind of important on close-up shots, now this has been fixed. Now it's easier than ever to access your help file in TP, simply go to master dynamic, you have a help button and it will open automatically the help file online, so it will be always up to date and you can have also one offline help. If you have any other question about TP 6.6 or any other software, remember that we have the forum, effectivetds.com slash forum. Thinking Particles community is growing quite a lot and you will find myself, Goran Pablas, Joe Scar or much others 
trying to help for any problem that you can have. If you have any question about these new features, uh, you have a problem with a file, please post it and someone will help. And we hope to increase a lot TP community on the forum. Thank you so much.